You guys, it is finally here. My she shed has finally arrived. Isn't it cute? Look at it. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. I absolutely love it. That dormer in the front is my favorite. Um, yes, we have a, a tarp as a door right now. We ordered the door. It um, should be here in the next few days, so we'll get the door and more windows. But uh, it's here. It's here, and it is ready to... Um, be finished out on the inside and the outside and to get it all set up and ready to go but let's quickly talk about what happened when this thing was on its way to the house starting off right off the bat the driver accidentally put one of the tires in the ditch but luckily enough he has this cool little trailer um, that has wheels on it that allow it to go left and right not just back and forth but left and right don't know what it's called there's a name for it I'm sure I have no idea what that said name is so he moved it over, basically walked it out of the ditch, if you will, and then he was able to bring it up to the house. I literally felt like a kid in a candy store watching this thing come up the driveway. My only regret with it is that I should have went bigger. Initially, I was going to go with a 16 by like 40 foot shed, which is basically the size of a house trailer, but I was going to have a bigger space for my office, my craft area, a bigger gym, and then also a little small room for my kiddo to hang out in. My husband though said he didn't think that they would be able to bring something that big up here, which come to find out they absolutely could have. So I might be building onto this thing into the future, but for now, you know, we got it. We got a 12 by 28 foot shed for me to craft in and to work out in, and I am so excited about it. Some parts of this video is sped up, so it did not go in this quickly. It took a little while to get it, you know, kind of shimmied in there. But as you, you'll see it here in a second, the trailer or the shed was like rocking on the trailer, and I was having a slight, a slight panic attack whenever that was happening. I didn't think it would fall off the trailer. I I really wasn't concerned about it really tipping over either, but I was worried that something, you know, would, it would move too much and like the windows and the dormer would shatter or something would snap inside of there, but it didn't. All was well. I was panicking for no reason. The driver that delivered this was awesome. He knew what he was doing and he was able to shimmy it into this spot that we had laid out for the shed to go. And I just showed a little clip of my husband leaving. I actually had to send him to town to get more uh, block for us to set this on because we didn't have enough. This part here was pretty cool. I didn't realize that the trailer would be able to slide the shed off of it. I thought he would just have to back the truck up. I actually learned a lot the day that he delivered this. Um, I didn't realize that my dad had told me about the trailer and how, you know, this guy would be able to get it in there and that the trailer can go left and right. But in my mind, I couldn't comprehend it. I am a visual person, so I had to see it. And so seeing this nifty little trailer do this was quite interesting to watch. And then you guys will see here soon. He has this um, thing on the bed of his truck that will come off there and it helps him get it placed. I don't know what it's called. My dad told me. I can't remember. I don't really care what it's called. But anyways, it's just a cool a cool tool that he has that helps him uh, set sheds where they need to go.
Looks like we're gonna hit the bank over there. That right there was the story of my life. It's probably fine. It'll be probably okay. <laughs> probably, hopefully. <laughs> okay, so um, once he got it back as far as he could with the trailer, he still had some more room that he could go with it. He got the piece of equipment off the bed of his truck. This is one I was talking about earlier. Don't remember what it's called. Some of you guys do and you're yelling at me through the screen right, screen right now. Um, it's okay. It's okay not to know the names. Don't panic. All right, I know you guys will comment and let me know and I will read it and then I will probably again forget what it's called. But he sets this up on the opposite side of the shed from where the trailer is at and it just helps him guide it into place a little bit better. And it also helps him to lift it up to get the block set. Now this part here made me super nervous. I really thought that the shed was going to fall off of the trailer. Um, it actually didn't, but it did fall off of the block later on. <laughs> my heart literally sank. Like I actually think it fell out of my body <laughs> when it happened. Not because of the, the shed. Like the shed will be fine, but it, when the block fell, um, it slipped off the block. The delivery guy was actually around there and I couldn't see him. Um, and this may sound awful, but I was prepared for a scream and I didn't hear a scream so I was super thankful so I got, like you know we took off running around there to make sure he was okay and he was thank goodness but it did slip off the block but all's well we got the block set he got you know he got it here off the trailer got it down and got the block set now I didn't film us setting the block we was running back and forth taking block to him moving block around trying to help him and stuff so I didn't film any of that but um once he got it all set down we set, it, set the block under it and then, you know, it's good to go from there. And boom, it's finally off the trailer. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a relief that was. What a relief to have it completely set up. Okay, well, let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of the shed. Yes, here's my makeshift door to help kind of keep the rain out until the door I ordered comes in. And there's my pup. So I started to map out where windows are gonna go, where the doors are gonna go, where my desk is, cabinets are. Since the shed is going to be partially my gym and partially my um office i am going to have a half wall built to separate those two some uh so i kind of got that all taped out on where everything's going to go um let's see I, I don't know i think i start showing you guys around a little bit closer hold on just a second oh my gosh look at the dormer i love the dormer i'm so excited for it aren't they cute I think it'd be cute to have a shelf up there with some books. But this one long line right there, that one is where the half wall will go. 
this big box here is going to be a desk and then on that back wall is going to be cabinets both on the ground and on the wall and then right there you can see the tape that's across the two befores those are for doors and windows the front ones I kind of taped those off but I'm actually going to be changing it I had my mom come out and try to help me figure out where windows should go based on what it looks like on the outside plus functionality and then here I'm going to show you I started to put some tape down for where I want plugins to go so I got all that taped off dog running around like crazy and I cannot wait you guys I cannot wait to get this done but it's the little details like this that's going to make the biggest difference. Having plugins where I need them, knowing like, hey, this is where my Cricut's going to be, or this is where that's going to be, and I need to be able to plug those things in. It's these details that make building this worth it. You're a good boy. Mm -hmm. Him a good peppers. Him a good peppers, huh? He needs attention, mom. He needs attention, mom. Him does. He's his mom. Never, never stop petting the cash. He says, never. Ah. <laughs> Get down, Cooper. <laughs> Get down. Hey, sit. Sit. Cash, you're too excited. Sit down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sitting. Thank you, wild pup. Thank you, wild pup. Thank you, wild pup. Go out the door. And here's some cross ties that I bought off my neighbor for super cheap. I'm so excited about them. So we're actually going to be using the cross ties out back as a retaining wall where we had to dig out a ton of the dirt to get the shed in there. Um, I will have to go buy some more, but I'm glad that I found the ones that he had. Um, for super cheap that's going to help tremendously because uh, those things are expensive they're gonna last forever in a day but they're expensive <laughs> um, they're not super expensive but it adds up whenever you're having to buy you know 50 of them I don't know that I'm gonna need 50 that was dramatic but here's the back side of the shed so far and I will continue to keep you guys updated as we go as we start to finish this thing out I will be making uh, videos about that so make sure you're subscribed and you stay tuned so we can see see the shed come together. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.